All right, in this video, here's two more things you can do with your sprites. Uh, you saw in the last one how we saw the image speed command to do the speed of the sprite, and how we also did the sprite index to actually set what sprite it is. One other thing we can do with our sprites, or two popular things we can do, is something called the alpha and the scale of the sprite. It's easier just to show you here. Let me take the object energy, and I'm just going to add some simple click here, like when I click it. Mouse, left pressed, run a little code. One of the variables built in, again, to every single object. This one's called image alpha. And for those of you that don't know what alpha is when talking about graphics, alpha is how see-through or how solid the graphic is. So when I say alpha is 1, that means it's absolutely solid. Okay, Opaque would be that fancy science word for that. If I set the alpha to 0, it means it's absolutely see-through. When this thing is drawn, it's literally drawing a level of zero of its colors. And so this is totally not there. Transparent. There's the fancy science word for it. Now, obviously, we don't want to do image alpha zero, or our object will disappear. But just to show you how you can do something like 30%. So you'll notice that these values that you put in here, they're between zero and one. So you'll always have some sort of decimal, and you can do some nice effects with them. So let's see what 30% uh, looks like. That's it. So you'll see it goes a little faded out there. Okay, nothing too exciting. The nice thing is, is with this effect, I'll just show you something you can do here, is I'll take, I'll leave that line in there. I'm going to give this energy object in its create method. I'm going to make a variable and I'm going to call my variable uh, my alpha. And I'm going to start it at 1. And I put 1.0 just because, but you could just put 1 if you want. My alpha is 1. I'm going to go to the step event. And I'm going to run a little code. I'm going to say, my alpha is my alpha minus. Now, this isn't a step event. I'm actually going to be taking the alpha value down and bringing it down to zero. But what I don't want to do is I don't want to make it go down by like one because it's going to be down to zero instantly. So these values in here have to be fairly small, so I'll just start with a little value like 0.01 so it can slowly creep down. And then I'm going to do this. I'm going to say image alpha equals my alpha. And I better be smart here also. I'm going to say if my alpha has gone below zero, put my alpha back up to one. So if you can imagine what this is going to do, I start at one, I'm going to start going down. Soon as it reaches below zero, I pop it back to one. And so what I should get is a fading out, back solid. Fading out, back solid. And there's the actual line. Image alpha equals whatever that variable is. Okay, as it's changing. So there's a little pulsing effect thought I'd show you here. So it's not very fast. But you can see it is working. Now, if we asked you what do you have to change there to make this happen a little faster, I know you're all really good at this point. I'll maybe take off 0.06. Give us another run. Okay, so you have that little effect. Now that's sort of doing one of those fade out effects by code. If you wanted, you could always just go to the sprite, you could edit the sprite, you could add a series of animation frames here, which you'll see in the next lesson, and you know you can make it just go off its sprite. But it's neat just to show you how to do it with the code itself. Alright, another thing we can do, 
the last little image effect I want to show you here is with the health object. I'm going to add a key press here. So just to press. And I'll go for a keypad plus and keypad minus. Ah, well, you know what? Let me change this to a letter in case you don't have those. I'll do letter B for big. Another popular thing you can change with your sprites is you can change how big they are, okay, and change them on the fly. So when the B keys hit here, you have image X scale, okay, which determines in the X direction how big it's going to be. So if I say image X scale is 2, it's going to double the size in the X direction, and image Y scale 2, it's going to double the size of the image in the Y direction. So remember that was the B key. That's the built-in variable already in there from GameMaker. And we'll see how this draws out. I hit the B key and and it gets bigger. And I mean, I keep hitting B. That's it. It keeps setting it to 2. 2 always means 2 times the size of the sprite of the original. And so keep hitting B. This isn't going to keep getting bigger. If you want it, I could even do that kind of effect with the pulsing by making these things get bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller. So it's a nice little effect you can do for some objects. So those are basically the two, three little things you can do there. You can set the sprite, you can set the speed of the sprite, you can set the alpha, and you can set the scaling. Again, you can use those couple of image tricks to do things with your sprites. Next video, we'll talk about how to actually grab your sprites from sheets so you can have some animated sprites yourself. Maybe if you're a good artist, even draw a few out. Thanks for watching.